Howdy folks. Uh, today I got some super fun stuff to show you. It's a couple of things with a couple of steps. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. First of all, I made mango syrup. Now, uh, if you saw my video from a couple weeks ago, I made banana syrup. You just take the banana peel and cover it with sugar. Well, I do the same thing with a mango. So I make like a breakfast smoothie pretty often. I'll put a mango in it if I can. And uh, you can just take the peel and the pit from the mango, cover it in sugar, wait a day or so, and there you go, you got a delicious mango syrup. You know, you're, you're sort of extracting all of the flavor out of the mango before you end up, you know, putting it in the compost bin. But it's uh, super easy, super fun. Uh, check out the banana syrup video as well if you haven't seen that. By the way, uh, a fella on Instagram, Washline Tony, uh, he did the banana syrup at my uh, urging, and he did a drink Basically the same drink I did, but with cognac. Sounds amazing. I might try that later on. Maybe next week. So we got mango syrup. What are we going to do with it? Well, that brings me to the second thing I want to show you, which is egg white foams. I've been doing this for a while, but uh, I've recently started doing it again. Um, it's uh, super fun. It's a little bit complicated, so I'm going to throw it over to future me voiceover Uncle Pete and uh, he'll tell you all about these egg white foams. Take it away, Uncle Pete. So we're gonna make egg white foam in the ISI Whipper. And for this, you will need some egg whites. We're gonna use two egg whites for this, which you'll just separate in the normal manner. Um, I do also like to sort of whip up the egg whites a little bit just to uh, to break them up before we get started. Now, an important thing is that to stabilize the egg whites, you do need some kind of acid. For this, we're gonna use lime juice, but you could use lemon, you could also use vinegar, I used shrub in the past, you could probably even use like a citric acid solution or something like that. But the easiest thing to do is to use lime juice. Then of course, you will also want some flavoring. So, we're gonna do uh, lime juice, and we're just gonna mix this, pre-mix this. So I've got about uh, a little over an ounce of lime juice. We're gonna use our mango syrup because you do wanna sort of try and balance the flavors here, so you want some sweetness. And then for the rest, you can sort of mix and match and do what you like, but you do wanna end up with about five to six ounces of total liquid for two egg whites. Uh, we're gonna put in some tea, some tiki bitters, which are fun. And then this is gonna end up being about three ounces of water. Uh, and that's a pretty good ratio. Now I'm gonna leave a couple of links in the description uh, to videos I've watched when I was getting back into this and reminding myself how it all works. Um, there's different things you can do. Um, and those videos are really helpful. So we just stick all of this into our ISI whipper screw on the top, give it a quick shake, then we're going to add NO2 uh, cartridges. We're going to uh, we're going to do two cartridges for this, so you just screw on the one, give it a little shake, take the first one out and do that whole thing again. Now uh, ISI people say not to use two, but um, Liquid Intelligence Dave Arnold says that doing two is fine, and uh, I'm going to go with that because doing two uh, makes it all better. So once you get those charged in, give it a quick uh, shake again, and here we go. That's what the foam will look like. Take it away, Uncle Pete. Thanks, Uncle Pete. For this, you will need an ISI whipper. Now, the thing about these ISI whippers is you don't need need them in your home bar, right? But they are a fun and not super expensive way to sort of bring your cocktail game to another level. There's different things you can do with them, including uh, like fast infusions. Uh, all these foams are amazing. Uh, you can just make whipped cream. 
for your desserts. I highly recommend these. It's, they make a great gift. Put this on your Christmas list, your Hanukkah list, your birthday list, whatever. Uh, these things are awesome. I'm just gonna try this foam real quick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You get a nice fruitiness from that mango. Limey, of course. And a little bit of that passion fruit. This is pretty good. Passion fruit and mango. I mean, come on. Um, what about a drink? Well, I want to do a rum drink. That may seem to make sense with this tropical foam. And uh, I thought at first I would try and do something where I like threw a bunch of fruits at it, like all the tropical fruit uh, liqueurs and stuff that I have. Uh, that ended up not being a little too complicated, and the you know the the fun mango syrup got a little bit lost. So I decided just to keep it simple. But I also tested out a couple of different uh, glass options. I did one in a big coupe with the foam on top, that looks great. Uh, I did one in a big rocks glass with a big clear ice cube, but that also worked out fine. Today, I think I'm gonna do it in a smaller rocks glass, no ice, just to see how that goes. I'm gonna, it's basically gonna be uh, like a rum old fashioned kind of deal. I did an ounce and a half of Real McCoy 3. Now, just any white rum will do. I'm not trying to do anything too bold on the rum because uh, I want, to, I, want to, I want to taste this mango. But I couldn't resist putting in like a quarter ounce of this Hamden Overproof just to jazz things up a little bit. A half ounce of my mango syrup. Uh, it seems like that would be might be too sweet, but I really want to taste this mango. And then I decided I would do a half ounce of Aperol just to add a little bitterness. Uh, maybe, you know, make this color a little more interesting as well. Threw in a dash of Angostura and a dash of these local orange bitters I've been really into lately. pretty good. Came out great. This foam is amazing. It smells good. That hand and over proof is pretty powerful stuff. It's 120 proof. I want to put a quarter ounce in, but still it's got a presence to it. You get a bit of that mango, a little bitterness at the back of the palate from the, uh, from the Aperol. I mean, this is quality stuff. Oh yeah. I mean, this is a solid, sort of rum old fashioned take, you know what I mean? Of course, rum old fashioned is something I will always love. Now, one thing I will say about these foams, uh, as soon as you spray it on, it starts, it looks amazing as soon as you put it on. And then it starts to sort of melt or collapse, like right away. So it isn't a super long lasting foam. You do have to put the lime juice in to stabilize it, but it doesn't stabilize it, you know, that well. But it's okay, I think, because, you know, as it sort of collapses and drizzles down into the drink, you will, you know, you continue to get some of those flavors that you put into the foam into the drink sort of over time. This will work with a lot of different sorts of drinks. Like, I tried this sort of experimental rum old fashion thing, but like you could do a, just a straight up daiquiri with a fun flavored foam on top. You could do a daiquiri with mango syrup. 
and the foam. You can decorate the foam, you can salt the tops of the foam, it looks really cool. Uh, you could probably do some Angostura decorations on there, they might collapse the foam even more quickly, but it might be worth a try. But the thing to know is, do the foam last, do it as you're about to serve it. So do the foam, immediately hand it to the person you're making it for, because it, as soon as you do it, it starts to look worse and worse. So this is super fun, and one of my favorite things to do is these foams. Uh, when I first started this channel, I thought, oh, we can do shrubs and syrups, and I, I could, do, you know, show off these foams that I've been making. And then I sort of never got around to it until whatever this is, a year and a half later. But we're doing it now, and I'm probably gonna make a bunch more foams in the coming weeks. So hopefully y'all are down for some foams. Um, we'll give let's give that a try. There's a second way to make foams. Uh, that using not egg whites, but the stuff called magic foam, which is like maltodextrin and xanthan gum mixture or something. We'll talk about it later, but uh, is there a second way to do foams and we're gonna explore that as well. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.